This is Codador. Let's see what we're doing. Adding colors into the mix. All right, so a bit of a story here, but let's get to the good stuff. Find the set color function and write code that will accomplish the following. Implement the list scrolling pattern so that the user clicks the magic nine ball. It increments color index. That just means add one. When the color index reaches the end, reset to zero. All right, so let's find this. Guys, if you're missing some of this code, go back and do the other bubbles. All right, so we're looking for, here we are, set lucky number. Now, our first thing is adding one to the index or incrementing it. There are five, 10, 100 ways to do this, and all of them are correct. So I'll go with decisions. Uh, the one that we've taken a look at before, I guess, but I'm going to show you other ways as well, because there's always more than one way to do something. So this, I'm going to do this in order, and it looks like they give us the uh, implement the list. And so I'll do this first, since that's what they're asking for first, I guess. Um, however, this code could probably be moved around. All right, so now we're going to do if color index, color index is less than, uh, and now we just need to pick either of our color lists. So I'll do, I don't know, lucky color code was one of them. You could also do name dot length. However, 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 don't forget to do the minus one, right? Because, and I want to hit this again because it's kind of confusing. Let's real quick pretend like our fortune data only has these three things in the list, right? So if it does, uh, list dot length does return three. That will be equal to three. However, list if that was the name of this list, three is going to give me an error because the index is here. Indexes start at zero and the indexes would then be zero, one, and two, even though there's three items. So let's keep that in mind. And that means we have to do this minus one if we're going to add to lucky color index. So I like, I'm headed to variables now. I like doing it this way, which is to write color index is going to have a new value. What's its new value? It's going to be equal to its old value plus one. Now, if you want to be fancy, this is also a entirely correct way to do this. It's a bit of a shortcut plus plus. This means exactly the same thing as this, and it is 100% correct. That being said, especially while learning, I think this is more clear saying, hey, computer, color index is going to have a new value. What is its new value? Oh, it's the old value plus one. Now, let's say this is false, right? So only if this is true, if we're not at the end of the list, we're not going to get an error, we'll add one to index. However, if that's false, we're going to get an error if we add one to color index. So we could set it right here back to zero just to loop back around. And as I said, guys, there is more one than one way to do this correctly. Another completely correct thing that I have seen is say you do something like like this right so you always add one and then you check okay so there's more one than one way to be correct in code that being said i'll stick with this way okay now what are we going to do all right we're going to set the text uh and uh the background color so let me head over here real quick i need a set text and what is the text uh lucky color text box is what we need which makes sense if I hover over here as long as I'm not running or I go into design. Lucky color, lucky color text box is what we're gonna set a value to. Now delete text, it sometimes fights you, so you might have to move your cursor to the end and then uh, hit backspace. And now what's the lucky color text box gonna be? It's gonna be our lucky color name list. And then what index? The color index of that list, cool. And now we're going to use the set property block. And what are we going to be setting now? Uh, the back. Okay. So this element's called BG color, which is probably somewhere huge back here, which I'm not finding at the moment, but I'm going to trust them. And then what property? Well, of course, the background color. And then what are we going to set it to? Again, I got to get rid of this because we have a list. That list is called lucky color I think I got to go check that but and then color index again let me double check that list is called lucky color code yep 
cool. And what did I do wrong? Ah, I left a quote. I told you. Fight you. Boom. Okay, I'm actually going to move this down here because it looks like that might be where they want it. Now, I'm going to hit run and I'm going to be really annoyed because nothing that happens. What? I did all that code. I never asked the computer to run my method, right? So I have my method here, but we have to tell the computer, hey, you, hey, computer, make sure to run it. Hey, which is what they say right here. So we need to call the method and I'm going to call it. We want to call it right here when they click on the fortune button we want the color to update so i just put its name let's give that a shot Oop. and what do i have here oh luck color code Boop. bugs are fun boom 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 cool that's looking good what else do we got okay yep yep oh so we should make sure it resets um which is kind of hard to test because there's a lot of stuff here but i'm just going to click a lot Looks good to me. If you want to test it more legitimately, you can do a watcher on it and just cool. All right. So next up, set lucky number function and declare a local variable, which just means a variable lucky number. Initialize it to be fortune index time color. So set lucky number variable variable. We're using multiplication and they say index times the color index. Oh, okay, that's funny. We're multiplying the fortune index by the color index, and then what? Uh, we're gonna set the text command of the lucky number, which is there, okay. Wow. Ah. Lucky number text box. And then I need to get rid of this. And I'm gonna use my, uh, that variable I just created, lucky number. Oh, and now we once again need to make sure we run it up here. Otherwise, nothing happens. And we should test. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that is fun. Cool. Awesome. I can't wait to see what we're going to do to finish this app off on Word.